What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are back taking a look at this very cool Warden Walk attack strategy. We're using the uh, Lightning Spell Earthquake combo to take down that lair behind the Warden Walk. It really sets things up nicely for a Witch attack or a P.E.K.K.A. Yeti Smash, some type of ground attack uh, similar to those. It's a common technique I've been seeing a lot at Town Hall 13. Wanted to share it with you guys um, in today's video. And of course, sorry for the lack of uploads. I've been really busy with, you know, stuff outside of Clash. Um, I'm sure people can relate to that. Um, taking a look at this attack here, uh, really well set up. King and Witches to kind of funnel on one side. The main push opened up with a couple super wall breakers, uh, getting the town hall as part of that push, then going uh, deeper into the base from there. Gonna get a nice Warden's Tome, and also the nice freeze effect. I think that was from an Ice Golem on the town hall. Uh, it goes down without any issue. Witches continue to push through, and then setting up nicely for the Royal Champion and the uh, Siege Barracks with the Hogs to come through on the back end. So th that's really what I wanted to highlight. We're gonna have one other attack. It's gonna be a quick video, but don't worry. I have another video I'm getting recorded and should be up uh, a day or two after this one. Um, I wanted to highlight though the use of the Lightning Spell. Typically it's gonna be on a scatter shot um, and maybe some other nearby buildings such as an Expo. Uh, behind that first layer, so a little bit deeper in the base, and it gets good value in terms of taking out a scatter shot or another important building, maybe an inferno tower. Um, getting one of those out of the way, which can hurt your, uh, in this case, the witches especially, but also setting up a good funnel and good pathing for your troops as they move through. You can see um, the compartment right here that was taken out by the zap quake. Um, that would have been a, a tough one for the push because the jump spell is opening up more of the top part of the base. Um, it helped narrow things down and you want pretty uh, narrow pathing through the core of the base. You don't want your witches to spread out too much because that's when they start to go down. Let's take a look at another example here. That was number three. Um, this war, as you can see, is still going on, but we've used most of our attacks. So already a ton of great ones to highlight in the, the coming videos. Similar thing here, but now using the Super Witches. Um, totally valid substitution. Uh, and once again, very similar lightning spell value. In this case, getting two Expos and a scatter shot that is very good value for, I think it was five lightning spells, one Earthquake. And then you can see, allowing the Warden to just kind of take his time there and get the, down that... Um, I guess you can call it layer one and layer two, or maybe even layer, layer zero and layer one. La layer zero being the outer buildings, layer one being the first buildings in that compartment, all of which the warden is highly capable of taking out. Um, he actually pulls the warden over maybe a little prematurely. Time, of course, is always a big concern with the super witches or with any type of witches. Uh, you can often run out of time just because they're not the quickest as they move through the base. Um, so I would say one thing for this is you want to speed up your warden walk, and I've talked about that in the past. You can do that by using a baby dragon, wizards, um, goblins even, to uh, help take out the buildings quicker. If they can stay out of range of defenses, they can speed things up a little bit um, right with your warden walk. And if they're a small troop like a wizard or a baby dragon even, uh, they won't affect the warden's uh, pathing. He will be independent of them still, as long as it's not like a P.E.K.K.A. Um, things push through here. Doesn't have a ton of spells, but is able to bring a jump spell, which gets some of the troops to the core. Quite a few of them did walk around the outside of the base, which typically isn't a great thing, but uh, in this case, the Royal Champion is going to help by coming back and uh, doing some work on the uh, in inner buildings here. And also the Queen takes that jump spell and will get in there, get that multi-inferno. Um, pretty much just a couple buildings left and these nice level 10 wizards paired up with the new, what is that, level 9 P.E.K.K.A. Um, some new additions from that update a couple weeks back which are definitely making things even stronger at these top town hall levels. Uh, they kind of smash through the rest of the base. The queen's ability gets that inferno down, and then it is good to go. 
I, I think time was maybe a little tight, but as you can see, wasn't the uh, deciding factor. Enough time to get everything done here. Very nice attack, and as I've said in a ton of videos, those super witches just don't seem to die. Uh, it's really hard to kill them at Town Hall 10, or not Town Hall 10, I'm living in 20, like 18. Uh, at Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13, uh, those super witches are very tough for defenses to get down. Um, so as long as you don't run out of time, you're typically okay. And yeah, look to use this for Town Hall 13s, and like I said, Another video coming out soon. Good to be back with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, enter that creator boost code, but I don't need to tell you because the end screen will. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.